Han De Song takes out the judge's dagger and decides to use it in a different way. The next moment he bleeds himself to use the imprisonment of the soul. At this time, an angry wolf in armor was already standing in front of the guy. But the guy was not confused at all. He was ready to feed this animal, and the fight began. In the next second, De Song pierced through the belly of the demonic creature, and it soon evaporated. But the bloodshed did not end there. The judge's blade was already flying after its next victim. Soon, the Lord of Hell destroyed thirty-three warriors from the army of Orkiel, after which the blade returns to the hand of its owner, and De Sen uses the call of Armi. While the black-haired man stood motionless, the fanged creatures were getting closer by the second, suddenly one of the wolves was grabbed by a strange hand, as if consisting of a shadow. And so it was, now the red-eyed beasts had to get together with their demonic copies, but it was an unequal battle. Seeing this eerie sight, the dogs shook in fear, but the shadow wolves only did what they came from underground. And when they all appeared on the scene, De Song ordered them to attack. His wolves immediately rushed to their pathetic parody. At the same time, the black-haired man, enjoying the spectacle, took out a lighter and lit a cigarette. After taking one puff he choked. After that he wondered why his friend Chang Ho was putting such rubbish in his mouth. At that moment, the red-eyed dog cut the shadow with his mighty paw, but for the shadow, such an attack is a mere trifle. At the same time, the armored wolf knocked down his dark copy and trampled it properly, but De Song would not advise underestimating these copies. At that moment, a mad wolf was rushing towards him, but the residual shadow immediately grabbed the creature behind its back. The summoned wolves will be reborn until the stigma is removed from their body. After this phrase, the white-haired dog was pulled back and soon he felt a gentle breath near his neck. Summoned beings who are not afraid of death, this is the strongest army on the battlefield. Despite the crushing victory over the wolves, the guy collected only twelve dust stones out of one thousand. The ruler of hell understands that if everything goes on like this, it will take him too much time, and since the level of implementation for this task is only fifty percent, then another one will follow. Realizing this, the guy pushed off from the earth's surface and soared into the air like a rocket, although Day Sun is lazy, but it doesn't cost him anything to kill some bunch of animals in two hours. At this time, the guy was at an impressive distance from the earth. Soon he chose the perfect place to deliver a crushing blow, and rushed there like a burning asteroid. These poor creatures didn't even know what was waiting for them. During the fierce battle, one of Orkiel's army instinctively sensed danger, but it was too late. For a second, a bright flash covered the battlefield, after which a powerful explosion occurred. At this time, in the Soul Clan, a snow-white blade bit into the body of a purple creature. It was a D-rank experimental monster. At the same moment it was gone. A notification was displayed in front of the mysterious female figure that every approved object had been destroyed. This blue-eyed girl is called Shinchon. She is from the Soul Clan. The scratch on her face disappeared on this the hunting simulation was completed. At this moment, the head with glasses turned to his boss for an assessment of this person, to which the head of the Soul Clan under the name Huang Zhenyan replied that the girl is not bad, but she has a problem, namely, on the battlefield she is loose. The man with glasses asks not to worry about it, because they have another ten days to thoroughly bluff this problem. A black-haired man demands to double the difficulty of training, this should be enough for them to get ahead of a psychopath. At this moment, the brown-haired leader hurries to clarify, by a psychopath does the boss mean Chong Jiknal from the Red Horse Clan? The boss was talking about him. The man is sure that if it wasn't for him, no one would have surpassed the skills of Shinchon. The guy in the jacket confirms the words of his master, reminding that Shinchon has category B, and Jiknal has A. However, Huang Junyan furiously declares that this is not the case. A more important role is played by what tricks the Red Horse Clan will resort to. A man with a tablet in his hands asks the owner if he really thinks that they will do something like this again, because because of that case they banned the recruitment of newcomers for a whole year. However, it is precisely because of this that the boss thinks that being shackled for a whole year, the Red Horse clan can no longer stand to do something even dirtier. Now the bespectacled man understands that this test will become an arena for two subjects, namely Shin Chon and Yung Jikno. The bearded gentleman notices that this is exactly what will happen. At this moment, Desen was already sitting on a mountain of corpses of mediocre creatures. A notification was displayed in front of the ruler of hell telling that the inhabitants of Pandemonium were amazed by the amazing skills of Han Desen, as well as these same residents with great fear expressed their respect to him, and some of the demons applauded standing. The goal was almost reached. The guy collected 999 soul stones out of a thousand. However, 
Han Dae Song did not appreciate this flattery. He prefers something more substantial. He sat quietly and smoked on the bodies of the defeated enemies, but one of the dogs was still growling. At the same time, the black-haired man took out his blade and finished the job. It was not worth making noise while the ruler of hell was smoking his cigarette. Now the system hastened to congratulate the guy on completing this task. Now his level of implementation has increased and he has also received the promised reward. Also, bluish balls slowly began to fly out from the bodies of the defeated enemies and they all rushed to their master. This is another ability of Han Dae Song, and it is called collecting souls. Now a smoking guy can collect a shower at the altar, but the blue-eyed one does not remember that there was any altar here. After that, he stretches out his hand and with the hope that the altar will not have to look for enough souls. Immediately after that, stone columns appear in front of the guy from under the ground. Apparently this time Han Daesong jumped to conclusions and did not even have to look for the altar. After that the black-haired man spat out a bull and a new task appeared before him. Namely, the task for the implementation of the subject, then Tristo is the 37th page called the Sword of Karma, the highest difficulty level. The ruler of hell will have to gather souls at the altar and prove his abilities as a guardian. The time for this task is unlimited. As a reward he will complete the realization of the Sword of Karma. The guy put the collected souls in a vessel, after which something huge soared up right in front of him. The couple coolly looked up and a huge snake appeared in front of him. Its eyes were like fire, but the ruler of hell did not care deeply about such show-offs. This serpent was the guardian of the heavenly world the serpent of Orkiel. To get the thing that the guardian lights up, Daesong needs to answer the question asked by the guardian and get his approval. The ruler of hell already held the blade in his hands. The black-haired man did not expect that he would need to answer just some question. Previously, everything was going so well and he is not happy with some sudden quiz. Looking at the great serpent again, he demands that he ask his question. Then the snake hissed absurdly that was his question. Daesong was furious was he being bullied? At the same moment, he threw his blade into the same fiery eye of the snake and she fell into agony but her emotions cannot be compared with the rage of the Lord of Hell. The guy activated his ability called Naturalization of Blood, it turns the owner into a centaur, and when used, consumes health points and increases all skills and statuses by 300%. The black-haired man made another small wave of his hand and now he grabbed the snake and the second eye. After that, Daesong grabbed his blade and rushed straight to the snake. The guy initially wanted to be nice, but apparently this Nidoeskirka saw him as an easy victim. Well, now she has to see his abilities. The guy squeezed his blade with all his strength and plunged it into the head of the nasty snake, after which she screamed furiously, and soon her head exploded, and tons of blood poured out of the decapitated torso like rain. Daesun was upset because of this vile smell of blood. Turning his gaze, he saw an unusual glow from the body of the snake, and then he remembered that these snakes are tenacious as worms. Well, this is not surprising. At the same moment, Tissue began to regenerate from the body and literally a second later the head was in the same place. However, the black-haired man is not facing this for the first time and if he understood correctly, then fire is it. The snake looked at the guy and howled furiously, and poison poured from its mouth. The ruler of hell declared that this could not continue. After that he called her to him. The red-eyed snake rushed to its abuser. She opened her mouth in order to swallow Han Dae Song, but the guy held his hand and restrained the onslaught. After that, Looking into the mouth of the monster, he saw a snow-white flame, as he suspected it was the fire of rebirth. After that, the monster's mouth closed with a pop, the snake was perplexed by what was happening. Immediately, notifications from the residents of Pandemonium began to appear, they were delighted and also one of the demons even bowed his head with his eyes closed. Immediately, the snake sensed something was wrong, suddenly a bright light erupted from its mouth, and this light was Han Dae Song, namely the sealed sword that he held in his hand. It was a pity for the black-haired man to waste such a treasure on a guy who didn't even have hands. The ruler of hell has received the sword of karma. At the moment the item will not be able to be used to the full, because the level of realization is only 50%, but the skills peculiar to him at number 123 are assigned to him. The guy was not entirely happy with his level of realization, but it was hard for him to believe that he was fighting someone who could not use the fire of rebirth. At this moment, the monster's mouth was open in front of the guy again, but now with this sword in his hands everything will be different, and it will be more than enough. He waved it to the sky and then made a rough movement that split the monster in two, 
the parts of the snake passed by the guy with the blade and only the thick of the once breathing snake remained behind him. But Destin was no longer interested in this. He read a pop-up window that congratulated him on the successful completion of the task. Now the Sword of Karma has reached 100% and the process of its implementation has been completed. Immediately, the chains that once enveloped the sword fell off the blade and released its true power. The system window warned the black-haired man that a test was sent to check his rights to the Sword of Karma. He needs to try to withstand the fire of karma for a given time. Having understood this, Han De Song decided that he must definitely pass this test if he wants to finally master this sword, a test called Sultry Hell. He needs to endure the pain of burning for 240 hours. It's only 10 days. This test cannot take his life, but it can bring him excruciating pain. Grabbing the sword, his body was covered in fire. It literally melted, but he didn't have to endure this pain. His skin was already gradually disappearing, and at the same time the ruler of hell turned to his brazen blade with a question. Could he not recognize his real master? But after that the time on the timer did not change. At the same time, Han De Song changed his tone and demanded to remove the timer while he was speaking in a good way, otherwise he would take it to pieces. At the same time, surprisingly, the time on the timer disappeared and the guy deservedly passed this very difficult test. The skin gradually returned to its rightful place, and the sword turned to the black-haired guy. He sincerely apologized to his master for not immediately recognizing him. At the same time, Desson said that he was not worried about this. The guy was also glad to meet them. However, he was surprised that the blade did not descend to pandemonium. Pandemonium is the dwelling place of demons, the place where souls who died in hell live is a place of endless non-existence. Before the guys, the notification windows were lit up again notifying that the demons of pandemonium support him with tears in their eyes, and they also cordially asked him to release them. Suddenly, the sword began to tell its story. From the moment its owner disappeared, the sword only wanted to disappear. Hearing this, Han Daesong asked the blade if he would prize him. However, he hastened to say that everything is not so at all, and he will gladly accept any decision of the owner. The only thing he was worried about was what happened after the black-haired man disappeared. The ruler of hell asked about what happened, and then the sword continued to tell that once unidentified creatures broke through the boundaries of hell. They quietly made their way to hell because all the demons had lost their powers due to the absence of their master. As a result, the demons were defeated. Not only did the unknown seal the time and space of hell, but they also cast all the demons into pandemonium. The sword had no choice but to be swallowed by the serpent, watching the demons suffer, he had to lead a meaningless existence because his ego was hurt. But fortunately his master freed him again, apologizing for the audacity of the sword hurried to find out why his master had returned. However, the black-haired man briefly replied that he needed his help and he would tell about the details later. The blade sincerely regretted that his great master had a situation in which he needed his help. The black-haired man stopped the monologue of his ward and hurried to ask if he knew what it was in front of him. At the same time, Looking closer, the blade stated that he also did not know what it was, but he felt that a very strange energy emanated from this sphere, exactly the same as that emanated from those unidentified beings who captured hell. The blade does not know what it is, however, it confirms before anything is done, it is necessary to safely check what it is. However, the guy did not hear the exclamations of his blade, who asked not to touch this unknown thing. However, Han Daesong believes the system because it has never failed him yet and it will be possible to check after he collects this sphere. After that, he squeezed a strange sphere and a system came out in front of him, which announced that the guy already had two keys out of three. Seeing this, the guy realized that with the help of these things he would be able to enter somewhere. Before that, he always returned to reality after completing tasks, but according to the Sword of Karma, there are still a few things that he has to get. Therefore, instead of returning to reality, he declared that he was returning to the Pantheon. At this time in the world, the video with the killing of goblins was scattered everywhere. Well, this was to be expected because it was incredible, the whole office in which Chang Ho worked talked about it. When suddenly a previously familiar leader with glasses approached him, he wanted to talk to the guy alone. The men went to the roof of the building for a smoke break. There the head of the Soul Clan remembers that Chan Ho was kind of at the scene of the incident, and asks the guy if he has something to share. However, Chan Ho himself does not even know what to answer because if he says that he is a friend of the guy who dealt with the goblins, then he will be forced to hire Han Dae Song at any cost. At the same time, 
he hesitantly decides to say that if he knew anything, he would immediately report it. At the same time, the bespectacled man said that it was a pity, because they would gladly have tried to recruit him. Jang Ho decides that it would be better if he continued to pretend, he also remembered that there are seven days left before Dae Sung's test. The guy, in order to avoid a minute's pause, decides to ask the bespectacled man how Shin Shon is, but there was no answer. At the same time, Jang Ho is interested in how nothing happened. The man thinks a little and says that everything is fine, he's just a little worried that she may not be able to cope with such a heavy burden. Seven days before the license test. In the thick of the forest, Shin Chon trains hard, she has ten minutes left before the end of the simulation, and she also has ten plates left to destroy. At the same moment, it will flare up and cut the slab into pieces, thereby destroying it, immediately the next and the next one arises from the ground. In one of the plates that appeared behind her was a simulation monster of rank D. As soon as he stepped on the ground, he instantly rushed to the woman. The girl was expecting his attack when suddenly she was unexpectedly bitten on the shoulder. It turns out she had to fight with two monsters. Suddenly a strange voice rang out and announced that enough was enough for today. After that, the monster's hand began to disappear. But the girl did not agree. She asked to stop. But despite her requests, the training program was completed and the forest around her evaporated. The head of the Sol Huang Junyan clan was looking at her from the window. He asked her to get up and said that they needed to talk. In the medical report, the girl says that she could continue, but the black-bearded man is interested in whether the girl is overdoing it. At the same time, she says and repeats the phrase of the boss go to your goal even if you fall off your feet. However, closing his eyes, Huang Junyan declares that he was talking about body training. At the same time, the blue-eyed girl declares that she does not overwork herself in any way, she already knows this. However, the man does not quite agree with this, because does she really know her body better than their system? Immediately on the screen on the left shows the indicators of the usual emotional state of a person, and next to it. Seeing this, Shin Chuyen lowered her gaze. Huang Junyang asks what is it? The system shows that now the danger for the girl is her depressed state. At the same time the blue-eyed one declares that she needs to enter the top five. The man is surprised by this news. Does Shin Chon really want to increase his rank? If she gets the A rank, she will have a lot of new opportunities. But Huang Jun Young is not doing all this for this. Clutching a plastic bottle and gritting her teeth, she declares that she wants to kill all the monsters that live on Earth. Five days before the start of license testing. Suddenly an iron door opened. A man with a scar appeared on the threshold, whose name is Lee Sogu. He calmly stomps down the corridor and again approaches the next door, after he scans his fingerprint, and another door opens in front of him. Closing his nose, he announced that he did not expect that it was possible to survive in such a place, and he also added that they should change the equipment of the insulator, especially the ventilation system. And the sparkling lamp should also be replaced with these words, he turned to his ward Jinchul but he was busy with his meal. Apparently, he lives well here and the food tastes good, he should eat more just so the properties of the drug will not bother much, and then he will be able to become the main hero of testing. Three days before the start of license testing. The level of implementation increased upon completion of the next task, and the implementation was completed. Now, the exalted Han Dae Song was ready. The sword turned to its owner with the question, are they really going back now? Wrapped in his robe, he replied that everything was exactly like that. The day of testing, the number of awakened this year has increased by 25%. It is also expected that the level of competitiveness will be increased due to the rapid increase of awakened. Members of the association report that this may change the methods of recognition starting this year. A snow-white car rushes along the road and stops in front of the building. All the reporters were waiting for this moment because this is Lee Soga the tip of the red horse and his ward. Soon, a reporter from SBC owed Zekel approached the guy with a scar on his face. She wonders if the person next to him is a newcomer who will represent the red horse clan this time. She is also interested in finding out what the man thinks about what kind of assessment their clan will receive on this test. One man from the crowd shouted out that the red horse clan could not participate in the testing last year because of illegal methods so he asks to share his feelings about introducing a newcomer for the first time in two years. Lee Sogu is in no hurry to answer all these annoying questions, however, he did not expect that they would rattle his nerves from the very beginning. After a little thought, he replies that he sincerely regrets the events of two years ago, 
but the reporter continues to put pressure on the man and declares that regretting those events is not enough. At the same time, Lee Sogu takes hold of the man's shoulder and promises him that this year they will honestly pass this test, after that they silently pass on. Testing Buildings In the corridor, Jignal declares that they should have just given up on that reporter, but the guy with the scar restrains the kid and he soon says with a smile that he was just joking. At the same time, Lee Sogu declares that having fun is good, but you shouldn't overdo it. If everything comes out, they will find themselves in a difficult situation. Behind them is a hefty man in a white outfit who is interested in why the guys may find themselves in difficulty. Lee Siagu turns around and greets the head of the Seoul Huang Junyan clan with a casual smile. After that, he is interested in what a man looks like. He reminds him of a gorilla undercover, to which he replies that journalists are very violent, and so he had to do something, he did not want to stand in front of the camera like some. The black-bearded man lifted his hat and looked at the red-haired youth from whom there was an unhealthy aura. Of course she was stable, there was a lot of her, but not too much. This time Lee Sogu did his best to polish everything cleanly that he didn't even find fault. The long-haired man bent over closing the youngster and says that even though the test has not started yet, but the big guy is already looking so intensely. Huang Junyan asks to understand him, because who knows if Sogu can bring an injected person again, who can harm newcomers just like two years ago, the man does not want those events to repeat this year, to which the long-haired man agrees. After this conversation, the two ask for forgiveness and continue on their way. Jinchil furiously declares that this guy looked at them so strangely, is he really a pervert? The guy with the scar understands the feelings of the youngster, but he made a mistake with the choice of the enemy, he should look straight. Jinchil walked past Shinchon, after which, looking after her, the red-haired man recognizes this girl, because she is a diligent newcomer of the Soul Clan, and he does not mind seeing what this little guy is capable of. However, Lee Sugu reminds the kid that it's not important that he became stronger after injection, it's important that that girl from the Soul Clan and that old man put a lot of effort, and the guy agrees with this. That's why he wants to smash them to smithereens all the more. Huang Jun Young watched the mad young man who represented the Red Horse Clan. He did not understand what they were going to do this time, but he reassures himself that this bridal will be able to harm his ward. When suddenly his instincts sounded the alarm, Han Dae Song was walking behind him, looking at him. The alarm sensor was simply broken, but the guy just passed by. Meanwhile, Shin Choi Yin tried to reach her boss, but he did not hear her and soon he was scared and told the girl to be very careful. However, she was going to be on the lookout with the Red Horse clan anyway, but Huang Jun Young wasn't talking about them, but about that sexy guy over there. At this time, Chang Ho called the black-haired man and sincerely apologized to his friend, because he wanted to personally look at this testing, but he had too many things to do. Dae Song replied that everything was fine. In the corridor, it was announced over the loudspeakers that the hunter license test would begin in 30 minutes, so everyone present is asked to gather in the third testing room after they change into equipment. Chang Ho told his friend that his event was about to start soon, and he also asked him not to stay there and also asked him to call after he finished. Han Dae Song stood in front of the vending machine, detailed instructions for use were written on it, namely, the guy needed to leave his fingerprint and get a box from the lower department. After receiving it he should change clothes. Having looked at the equipment, the ruler of hell was not very pleased, he expected something more, but in the end he took off some piece of cloth. Testing hall number three, there were many newcomers standing in front of the entrance to the hall, and one of them could not believe at all that he would participate in this testing. It can be seen that a lot of calls and the same number of letters justified themselves, he is generally shocked that the association dared to doubt his abilities. With particular anger, he remembers the ill-mannered boy who touched his head, but if he had met him, he would definitely have been in trouble. At this moment, someone firmly takes hold of the old man's skull. Turning around, the man saw an angry Jinchil who demanded that the like it go far away. At this moment, the old man thought about the essence of being and thought that it would probably be better for him to leave. Soon Han Dae Song was walking along the corridor, who still pulled on these rags, when suddenly he saw an old man he knew, but now he realized with anticipation that everything was just beginning. The guys gathered in the hall, namely Shinchon, the red-haired Jinchil, and the magnificent Han Dae Song. All the guys joined the ranks. Soon the lamps in the arena were lit, and the participants were illuminated by a bright light. Many people saw such technologies for the first time, 
the microphone suddenly turned on, and the inspector greeted the newcomers properly. He did not waste time and went straight to the point. The man stated that this time three level portals were organized by responsible persons. In each of the portals, depending on the level, there will be different terrain and tasks. However, many newcomers first heard about such terms as three level, four level portals. One of the boys stretched his hand up and hurried to ask when they would already be given weapons. However, the man with glasses said that this time the test subjects will not be given weapons, and they are also prohibited from carrying anything other than the equipment that they are wearing. No one expected this, because how can they fight without weapons? Suddenly, the guys were greeted by artificial intelligence, which will help conduct the test. The topic of their test today is adaptation. They will have to find out how well the examinees will be able to reveal their adaptation skills, whether it's heat or frost. The value of a hunter is not in his equipment, but in the aura inside him this is the skill that appears due to the strength of the body. It is enough for the guys to show how well they adapt and fight. This is the end of the brief introduction. This is the beginning of the opening of the portal. After the portal was ready, the examiner ordered to enter it gradually starting from the back rows, and he also wishes everyone success. First Level Portal, Rainforest Although the test had just begun, the subjects fully appreciated the cruelty of this place. It was so stuffy and hot in the forest that some could not even breathe calmly, and if everything continues like this, they will die from the heat before the test begins. At this time, all the subjects were closely watched from the broadcast room. The brown-haired man declares that only a few will pass this time, while the black-haired one asked if the standards are too high this time, because no one will pass at this rate. However, the guy behind the equipment hastened to reassure his partner saying that this should not happen. The guys on the big screen watched, watched and enjoyed a very big soul, even the huge soul of a minion of the soul clan. At this time, the girl decides to clear her mind so as not to waste energy once again. Watching this spectacle, Huang Jun Young was very happy. He realized once again that his Shin Cho Young was talented. However, the attention in the hall quickly jumped to another participant, although his soul was not as great as that of the last participant, but he is clearly stronger. The observers stressed that this time the Red Horse clan was thoroughly prepared, because their participant inspires great hopes. At this time, Li Sogu consoled his ego, he suspected that the old man was probably jealous. Looking at Huang Junyan, the guy with the scar noticed that it was impossible to be so surprised by this, but the man seemed dumbfounded. At this time, not a small noise arose in the observation room, because the participant at number 104 is somehow too calm. Looking at the screen, Li Sogu was shocked, he recognized this brat. There was no sweat on the black-haired boy, but no ore either. Many wondered if the kid had hidden his aura. But if this is really the case, then how can a test subject have a technique of this level? In fact, Han Song drank the item that fell from that lousy snake, and it's called the Guardian's Blood. This item will be valid for another 46 hours. Thanks to this subject, he will feel free regardless of the situation and the place around him. But the ruler of hell hopes that no one will notice this, otherwise he may be excluded. At this time, the rest of the test participants were looking forward to its start, otherwise they would simply die because of the unbearable heat. Suddenly, a pink bracelet lit up on the hands of the guys. Now that all the test subjects have successfully entered the portal, artificial intelligence is in a hurry to announce the first task, namely, the examinees will have to kill twenty orcs in the swamp. After the sing-along about the beginning of the task, Desson rushed forward leaving the losers behind but the rest of the guys were not going to lose either. Soon one of the participants stumbled and fell. From exhaustion he had double vision, he already hated this jungle with all his heart, when suddenly a water source appeared in front of his eyes. The guy couldn't believe his eyes because it really is water, which means that he will live. However, as soon as he touched the liquid with his hand, she grabbed him and pulled him along. It was a monster called the Velcro Worm. It lives in a swampy area and eats hunters by luring them with a substance similar to water. That's how the test subject number 94 dropped out, and emergency help was called to him. Suddenly the monster was torn apart, and the defeated guy was enveloped in a protective sphere. It will protect him until the recovery team arrives. At this time, Han Dae Song continued on his way. He realized that apparently the orcs were not in this direction and ran in another direction. At this time, help arrived to the participant number 94. Suddenly one of them received a message on the sensor demanding supervision of the 104th participant under the name Han Dae Song. 
an unusual figure appeared behind the back of the orc with an axe, but the monster instinctively sensed danger. The guy was already choosing the best way to finish off the monster, for example, it's not bad to hit him with this stone, but the orc did not appreciate it and rushed at Han Dae Song. The black-haired man expected about this, so he imperceptibly threw a stone and stood up in a stance. A huge boulder landed in front of the orc's face, after which the ruler of hell dealt a crushing blow to it, causing it to shatter into small pieces. The same stone fragments struck the monster and wiped it off the face of the earth, and the forest itself suffered. An observer was watching everything that was happening. At first the man thought that the management had gone crazy when they ordered him to follow some test subject. However, now he understands that this boy definitely does not go to any comparison even with the newcomers of the largest clans. At the same time, Han Dae Song realized that killing these orcs one by one was not at all effective, although he did not want to use magic in the first half of the test, but apparently there was no other way. The black-haired man used the summoning of the shadow and ordered the dark servants to find the right targets. At this time, some rustling was heard in the forest. After hearing this, the orcs decided that a field mouse was started somewhere, and for them this is a good dessert. The monsters already wanted to rush to find a small animal, but the elder said that if a guy wants to eat a small animal, then he should have patience for the kala. Suddenly, the orcs felt the shaking and stones rained down on them from above. The orcs turned around and saw a hole in their den, and an unknown person appeared in front of them, and in his hand he had some kind of stick. Still, Han Desen managed to find rats that were buried underground, but the monsters were even a little uncomfortable, because the food came to them by itself. While the Lord of Hell was counting the monsters, they were discussing the mouse in front of them. Desen didn't quite understand why the guys started repeating something about a mouse. At the same time, the sword that took the form of a branch decided to explain to its owner that these lower beings took their king for bait, after that the sword waited for instructions. Han Dae Song took another look at these funny creatures and then ordered them to be incinerated to the ground. At this time, Shin Chon was running through the forest, she took advantage of the opening of the aura and expanded her search, soon the radius of her view covered a large area of the forest. However, even so, she was able to detect only one orc, she instantly changed her direction and flew off her feet into a poor tree, after which an orc fell from it. The blue-eyed girl realized that if she continued to take the test at the same speed, it would take her an hour. Meanwhile, the monster jumped to its feet and tore away from the evil mouse, but Shinchon was not going to let go of her prey so easily. She swung and decided to use her fourth move, when suddenly the orc's head was blown off by someone else. The black-haired woman didn't really have time to react but the mad Jinchil enjoyed the taste of blood. A newcomer from the Red Horse clan appeared in front of the girl. Suddenly the red-haired man decided to get his hair, and he also said that this was the fifth monster on his account. However, the girl stated with dislike that the Red Horse clan, as always, is in its repertoire to covet someone else's. However, the boy only smiled maliciously at this. He said that this was a competition, and there was no framework for yours. Did the girl have less brains than these orcs? However, Shinchon did not just keep silent and said that the boy was good at talking in the style of his clan. At the same time, Jinchil said that apparently her clan likes to take those who have gone since last year, so the atmosphere between them has reached its peak. The blonde-haired man already wanted to kill her, but he realizes that he cannot act so early, he should wait for at least the second level. Looking at the sour face of the boy, Shinchon exhaled and walked away, when suddenly she turned around and wished the scumbag a good time alone from this Jinchil was beside himself with rage. The kid couldn't wait for the next level, so he decided to sweat this fly right now. When suddenly there was a huge explosion in the forest, this event brought the blonde-haired man to his senses and forced him to stop, but he had to understand what kind of mysterious explosion it was and not only him, but also Shinchon. At this time, the forest continued to blaze. A few minutes before, Han Dae Song held a twig at arm's length, the disguised sword was waiting for the order of its owner, and he no doubt wished to burn all the enemies, thereby the characteristic characteristics of the Sword of Karma were activated, namely, the first skill called Rage was activated. Seeing this, the orcs were at a loss and now they shouted the word mouse with fright, but this did not save them from imminent death. Everyone in the observation hall was shocked. The test subject number 104 successfully completed the task of the first level, thereby he moves to the next level. The observers could not believe their eyes, because such a thing is impossible, 
they only recently started the task and some nameless one has already completed it. Now everyone present wants to get information about the 104th issue and obliged to conclude a contract with him. Huang Junyoung expected that this kid would make a noise, but not as much, but Lee Siagu did not appreciate it and hurried to turn away from the screen. Meanwhile, the staff who personally could not evaluate the guy turned pale, and the girl began to take out her anger on the guy who did not believe her words that this boy was unusual. However, the man could not do anything, he admitted his mistake and asked to stop beating him. Suddenly, a black-haired man from their company saw something terrible, he attracted the attention of his colleagues. A well-known old man appeared on the big screen, a grandfather with a bald spot on his head ran out onto the split battlefield that was left after Han Dae Song and picked up an axe that had fallen from the monsters. Now all he had to do was finish off the wounded orcs, the man even got into the taste, and soon he killed as many as eleven pieces. Grandfather did not regret that he went after this loser at number 104. Looking at this, the guys had no words, because this cowardly grandfather can only cheat, but it didn't matter because the topic of this test was just an adaptation, and the man coped with it perfectly. It was still difficult for the blonde guy to understand how an ordinary person who did not pass the test for the awakened got to this test. At the same time, the girl with glasses happily stated that on that day Mr. Han Dae Song broke a lot of balls. The guy interrupted the woman and decided to find out since when did Han Dae Song become a master? However, he quickly took back his words and asked to continue the story. At the same time the girl explained that rumors had spread that day that someone had broken the balls and their results were not valid. And she also heard that someone filed complaints to the society about this. Most likely because of this the old man was allowed. However, the guy in the red tie brought his colleague to reason and asked her to think before saying such a thing. Although he knows that people from above do their work superficially. Suddenly the boss intervened in their conversation and in a rude voice he apologized for superficially doing his job. The guys immediately bowed to their boss and asked what brought him here. The man said that he himself had put this elderly man on the list of participants. But the black-haired man did not understand why the boss did this. At the same time, the man said that this old man wrapped himself with bombs at night three days ago and tried to enter the portal. Hearing this, the girl was surprised to assume that the old man really decided to do such a terrible thing to himself because he could not become awakened. But the boss explained that this was not the reason. The fact is that several years ago this bald old man lost his family because of the opening of the portal, and thus the man tried to take revenge on the portals. After hearing this, the guys were in a stupor and they had a minute of silence in the group. Soon the black-haired man made a bold statement that if the boss would give such generous indulgences for every such situation, their evaluation system would collapse. Having heard such bold words from a colleague, the guys moved away from this immortal creature and waited for punishment to befall him. However, the boss felt sorry for the kid and said that he was right and it was impossible to do that. But after the situation with the old man, the boss saw Dessen, for three months he received complaints from the pensioner when suddenly he seemed to have found a diamond. At that moment, some technical problems began to occur in the observation room, namely, the screen began to lag heavily. In the same building, Lee Soga meets one of his subordinates and declares that now there is a complete madhouse in the observation room. A short-haired man declares that at this rate the 104th participant can quickly jump to the second and third levels. However, the chief with the scar declares that this kid does not overtake their jinchal, just their newcomer gives him a head start so far to look at the endurance of the black-haired out of interest. However, the guy can hardly believe in this handicap, because it is written on the pocket sensor that an ampoule of change was introduced to the monsters of the second level. At that moment, one of the emergency aid group began to carry out the order, he felt sorry for such a talented novice, but he should not have stood in the way of the red horse with these words. Apmila struck the monster. After that, the forest became restless, seeing this. Dessen assumed that apparently this was the entrance to the portal to the second level. The bloodthirsty Lee Soga was just waiting for the moment when this arrogant boy would accidentally die. The flying golem was hit by an ampoule with unknown contents, after which it evolved. It became a floating golem whose feature is the ability to appear out of the fog. The monster became enraged and began to spew flames from his mouth, now the mercenary's mission is completed, he should report this, and he will receive a good reward for such a feat the boy took out his communicator, and it suddenly exploded in his hands.
the guy realized with horror that the smoke from the explosion contained a paralyzing poison. The mercenary dropped his weapon and started coughing uncontrollably, but as expected, he could not remain unnoticed. At this time, the ruler of hell got lost in a foggy area with a stick in his hands and his device did not really want to help him with this. Suddenly, Han Daesong stumbled upon a strange corpse. The guy suspects that this was originally intended for him, when suddenly he felt danger from behind. Cones rained down on the ruler of hell, however, he easily beat them all off with the help of his fiery sword of karma. But these projectiles were not simple and an explosion occurred in the forest. The guy did not expect such a trick, but he easily withstood such a flame. After seeing such a trick, Destin at first thought that it was the absorption of flame, but soon he came to a different conclusion and decided that he should use the skill he used against the orcs. However, he can't use it yet as it is being recharged and it doesn't look like this red-eyed monster will kindly wait for him. At this moment, the monster decided to launch its attack. The cones again fell towards the guy and he continued to diligently repel them, after which he rushed through. He got tired of playing with nature and decided to first break the base of the monster. The cones changed the route of their flight, but they still could not overtake the youngster. Han Dae Song overtook the monster and decided to strike him a direct blow, when suddenly he was thrown into the nearest tree, well, into all the rest of the blessed trees. At this time, Jin Chul was butchering the last orc so the examinee at number 14 successfully completed the task of the first level. The blonde-haired man was furious that he had spent so much time because of this type. Suddenly he felt the presence of a stranger behind his back. He caught a thrown object in the air. Inside the white box was an ampoule, a special compass and a note. After reading its contents, Jinchil burned it with his aura. Now he knew that the 104th room was still on the first level. At this time, the stone golem continued to throw cones at the ruler of hell. Dessen flew a few kilometers and got back on his feet now he decided to use the ability the ghost of shadows. He fed the summoned shadow and ordered to clear the way for him. Now the summoned monsters began to catch flying cones, but this was not enough and Dessen had to defend himself. Now the lord of hell will return this debt with interest. The summoned shadow absorbed the fiery fragments and then disappeared. At this time the monster growled furiously and rushed at the youngster, when suddenly his own shadow came to life and fiery cones appeared from it that were ready to explode. It was a special gift from Han Dae Song. At this time the picture began to appear quietly in the observation hall. They could again observe number 104. Although the picture was restored, however, the audience still could not make out anything on the screen because of the thick fog. They thought it was strange because the zone of the first level is a tropical level and fog should not have appeared on it. But a second later they saw a huge monster. The observers were amazed, was this monster also included in part of the test, and it was also not clear where the inspectors were looking. The boss, seeing this, became gloomy and the blonde-haired man decided to ask if this was normal, because no matter how you look at it, this monster is some kind of mutant. Also, the blonde man clarifies, shouldn't they stop this lawlessness? Because the boss has the right to do this as the highest defender. However, the man was in no hurry to do this. The blonde-haired man turned to him and also the second colleague said that the location of the 104th number had been determined and now inspectors were being sent there. So he also asked if they should suspend the test for the 104th. After hearing numerous requests, the boss announced that apparently he had no other choice. The girl who continued to watch the broadcast was stunned, because the black-haired man in whom no one believed was able to fight back and it's just incredible. The shadow surrounded the flying monster and began to return his bombs to him. A column of smoke appeared over the forest, and the observers had no words to characterize this event. The boss had previously thought that it was just a malfunction of the device, but now it became clear that it was impossible to determine its level. Although a man cannot appreciate the boy, but there is clearly something unimaginably strong in him. The girl saw how Han Dae Song dragged that mutant to earth with every second he becomes more incredible. Suddenly, a colleague approaches the blonde girl and loudly tells her that all these achievements have nothing to do with the test. Therefore, the impudent woman is sure that Zhang Jinchul from the Red Horse clan will get to the second level first. Thus, the atmosphere has heated up between the two girls, they have a black-haired man behind their back who is interested in his master whether he should recall the people they sent to the aid of the 104th number? 
However, the boss says that it is not worth doing this. He wants the guys to analyze the wounds and make a detailed report on this situation. At this time, Jinchul was running through the forest thicket and looking at his pocket radar. Soon he reached the approximate destination. Judging by the fact that the fog began to dissipate, he realized that everything seemed to have already been decided here. The blonde-haired man decides to get rid of his compass while no one noticed, and now he can run at full power. At this time, Han De Song was pouring his blood into the stone slush to use the soul's imprisonment. After the rite was completed, he decided to summon the commander. Now, a black fog began to appear over the forest. The observers looked at this performance with their mouths open. They could not even guess what this black-haired youngster was doing. Soon the defeated monster rose from hell. This event further misled the audience. The flying golem became enraged in front of Han De Song. But the guy didn't have time for this so he asks the monster to bow his head in a good way. And the monster, realizing his possible fate, prostrates himself. After that, the ruler of hell stands on a pile of stones and orders her to run forward. At this time, the narcissistic Jung Jiknal has already reached the portal. He is sure that no one but him will be able to become the first in this test. At the same second, an afterimage of an unknown figure flies past the boy. The blonde youngster did not even have the opportunity to say something. Number 14 was completely stunned, and he could not understand how this jerk had done something so crazy. At this time, Lee Sugu approached the room of observers from which surprised shouts could be heard. Judging therefore the long-haired man assumed that Jinchul had already amazed the audience. However, when he entered the room, he saw the stunned face of a teenager, then the head of the Red Horse clan was greatly fascinated. A little earlier, Han De Song climbed on his new subordinate. Together with him he was looking for a way by which he could cut the distance. Soon he decided to clear the way and ordered his pebble to move just forward. After that the black-haired one activated the breath of the ghetto king. With this ability, the ruler of hell burned the floor of the forest, and while the monster was flying, he continued to spam with his skill. The observers were rather surprised because the 104th uses an unknown trick with a call, and he also uses techniques that no one has heard of. At first, people had doubts whether it was possible to do this at all with the help of the aura technique. But the guys decide once the kid comes out, it means it's real. In principle they have nothing to be surprised at in this fairy tale world. For the workers, this test has turned into a reality show. A little more and the guys will start betting on Han De Song's victory. Suddenly, there was a crash in the audience. The guys present turned around and saw Lee Soga blushing with anger. The man wanted to make a remark about the behavior of the head of the red horse, but it could become dangerous, so the bodyguard politely asked not to approach an outsider for his own good. Meanwhile, the guy with the scar pulled himself together and asked for forgiveness for his behavior, explaining that he was too excited by these unthinkable abilities that were demonstrated on the screen. Huang Junyoung was quietly happy about what was happening, because Lee Soga got what he deserved. Such a weasel like him from the Red Horse could not imagine such a thing in his sleep. The head of the Soul Clan realized that Chon should also arrive at the place soon. At the same time, Jigmal was becoming more and more filled with anger, when suddenly someone's figure appeared behind him. Turning around, the blonde-haired man saw Shin Chon running. Gritting his teeth, the guy decided that he did not dare to lose to this dog. Meanwhile, Han De Song was already standing in front of the snow mountain that was on the second level. The guy was surprised by the imagination of the leaders, because at the last location he was greeted with heat, and now he has to run in the freezer. After looking at his ward, the ruler of hell declared that the pebble could be free at this stage. A previously familiar artificial intelligence appeared from the guy's wristband. He congratulates the 104th number on the fact that he is the first to reach the second level. Hearing this, the black-haired man wonders if it is possible to start the task. At the same time, Artificial intelligence stated that everyone would be divided according to their strength by five people, each of whom would start from another place. And the goal of the second level is that the test takers should reach the top of the mountain. After this little excursion, Han De Song was wished good luck. Although the ruler of hell could not accurately determine the height, however, he is sure that this mountain is more than five kilometers. The black-haired man continued to climb up the cold rocks. It's quite a simple task but the ruler of hell was so lazy to do it, and besides, all this time he was surrounded by annoying drones because of which he could not use his trump card. At this time, Jinchul appeared below Daesong, 
Looking at him, the black-haired man remembered that the awakened Class C and D earn a living working as porters. The blonde-haired man was getting more and more angry, and besides, for some reason everyone has a different starting place, he was extremely dissatisfied with this. Now, he decided not to sit back until he stopped Han Dae Song, he would not calm down. Turning around, the blonde-haired man saw a dark figure in the distance, and the guy realized in anger that it was probably the annoying Shinchon again. But this was far from the case. A half-dead old man appeared on the horizon who almost died from the local cold. After seeing this, Jinchil decided to destroy this fly first. The old man slapped himself in the face and decided that he should not even think about death, because he should think about his family, which has disappeared. Now he is not cold at all. At the same moment, the old man falls asleep in an avalanche, the cause of which was a merciless boy. After what he had done, the blonde-haired man said that this midge does not know its limit at all, so he wishes him a speedy rest. At this time, some problems occurred again in the building of the building, namely, for some reason, the signal from the flying drones, as well as from the rest of the video devices, was lost. Hearing this, Li Siege didn't even twitch, because this is just the beginning, now Zhang Jinchul doesn't dare let him down. At this time, the other participants— after hearing the explanation of their goal, decide that it will be easy, because they are the strongest. When suddenly Jinchul lands on the optimistic boy, the fat man was shocked by what he saw, but he did not have time to blink as he was firmly taken by the head. After the cameras were turned off, the blonde turned into a real monster. The scion of the Red Horse clan was shocked by the effect of the injection of the champion orc, because with its help he will be able to kill all his opponents. Meanwhile, Xin Choyin was quietly climbing the mountain, when she suddenly discovered that the equipment had started to mess up again, but she still could not understand the reason for what was happening. The ruler of hell also noticed that a strange thing near him was out of order. He is insanely happy about it because now he will be able to move as he pleases. After that, the black-haired man lets go of the ledge he was holding on to and with a smile calls to himself the armor of a ball arc fighter. Suddenly, Xin Choyin felt a strong surge of energy from below, when suddenly Han Dae Song flew in front of her face on wings. The girl could not even imagine that the 104th number could fly using the aura technique, but she did not even guess that this was far from the aura technique. At this time, the mutated Jinchul continued to smash the faces of helpless opponents, sitting on the bald-headed bully turned around and saw the 104th number soaring to the top. The guy in a rage suggested that this scumbag was given an ampoule of a harpy, after which he rushed forward for the 104th. At this time, in the observation room, Huang Junyan demanded that the competition be interrupted, because the safety of the test subjects was always a priority, but the boss asked the gentleman in the white suit to be patient, and the man also promised that they would try to fix all the problems as soon as possible. Hearing this, Li Sogu only laughed and then said that if those who want to become a hunter cannot survive such a small incident, then will they be able to perform their duties properly. After such an audacious statement, the long-haired man turned to the gentleman responsible for the test and asked his opinion about it. The man coughed, but did not give his answer. At the same time Huang Yung Hyun suggested with anger in his eyes that Li Sogu was involved in this. However, the guy with the scar didn't even try to hide it and said that it was better to disqualify weaklings initially, and asked is a newcomer from the Soul Clan so weak? Those present did not even know what to say to this, but Huang Jun Young caught fire with anger. At the same time, the insidiously Sogu advised the man to take a break and retire. At this time, Han Dae Song reached the tip of the icy iceberg and stood in front of the next portal. Now he was ready to go to the final round. While Xin Chon was diligently climbing with a stick, the blonde mutant was climbing like a gorilla. However, we forgot about the strongest participant. The old man miraculously got out of the avalanche that befell him and sobbed, because he won a major victory for himself. He survived and this is already a victory. When suddenly the old man was pierced by cold, now he decided to go back down. Artificial intelligence announced the task of the third level, the guys should get ready for a monster raid. Moving around the field they will fight monsters for which they will be awarded points. To pass this stage they should score a thousand points. Xin Chuiyin found herself in a dark cave, so first she decided that she should hold out until her eyes got used to the darkness, when suddenly she heard someone calling her name. There was a mutated Jinchul behind her. 
he wanted to know with great interest if the girl had seen a flying type here. Realizing that behind her, Zhang Jinchul from the Red Horse Clan, the black-haired young lady realized that the situation was not in her favor. At this moment, the angry kid noticed that the girl somehow came here before him, and this is not very good. Shinchon, after thinking a little, politely asked the guy to get out of here not to annoy her, but Jinchul was not going to let her go so easily. At that moment, the girl relaxed her vigilance and remembered the words of her master that she should be more careful with the guy number 104. Shinchon admitted that the unknown was faster on the first two levels, but on the third the situation could turn around. Suddenly an error appeared on the girl's transmitter informing her that an error of the aura reactor had been noticed. The aura reactor sets and makes stronger the release of aura in an awakened person, it also activates the emergency protection function of the suit. At the moment when the girl dealt with the mistake, her torso was severely injured. S first wanted to deal with the flying bastard, but Shin Choyan was just unlucky enough to stumble upon the bloodthirsty Jinchul. At this time, the ruler of hell had no problems burning the monsters he caught. Soon he turned to the sword and asked him to finish everything as soon as possible. The next moment, the remaining monsters turned to dust. The black-haired man noticed that it took him too much time for these losers. At that moment, he had already collected 530 points. But it was still not enough. Han Daesong looked around and decided to get rid of what was visible first. At this time, the boss was talking on the phone and was interested in when the video surveillance system would be restored. Li Sogu himself was calmly sitting on a chair and looking at his watch. He was pleased with the result that they mixed different factors in the ample. He even felt a little sorry for this old man in a snow-white suit, because his ward Shinchon would either die or become disabled. The girl was bleeding and turned to the man and with a question, she was interested in what he decided to do during this ordeal. Zhang Jinchul did not expect that the black-haired girl would withstand such an attack, because she is a fragile girl, but she had protection. At that moment, the red-eyed man tensed, the wounded girl attacked her abuser and punched him right in the head. The blonde guy staggered but withstood this blow, but after that his rage was greatly inflamed. Raising his head, he did not detect his prey, but he does not mind playing catch-up with her. Hiding, Shinchon hurried to examine her deep wound, she decided to heal it as soon as possible with the help of the aura technique, but she was found. Without thinking twice, the black-haired woman threw her uniform at Jinchul, after which she dealt him a forbidden blow, which we hardly show on YouTube. The man howled in pain, but the cruel girl was not going to stop, after which she punched him in the face from the knee, from which the cape flew off the face of the blonde monster. The guy was trying to recover from his injuries, but the black-haired woman was already in full combat readiness. During a powerful punch in the stomach, the girl declared that she was the ace of the Soul Clan, and her name was Shinchon. From this technique, the guy coughed up blood, after which he flew several meters away and fell with a punctured belly. After looking at the scumbag, Shinchon said that even monsters are less vile than him. Her supervisor was completely right. After that, the girl spat and walked away from the scene of the crime, not for Huang Jinchul educates strong fighters. At this time, the ruler of hell killed even more creatures, but the number of points did not change at the same time he realized that the device was broken. Now Han Song had no idea what to do, for a second he even wanted to go out and ask, but soon came to his senses and went on wandering around the lifeless cave. At this time, the wounded girl was also walking through the cave, and was thinking why he did not see other players, when suddenly a lifeless body flew by in addition to her. Turning around, she sensed danger. It was still the same Jinchul. Realizing this, the girl rushed away from this monster. She could not understand the secret of the trick. Shinchon was sure that she had killed the guy. When suddenly his muscular arm appeared in front of her and knocked her to the ground. Now the monster on steroids decided to take his revenge. He sat on her body and began to strike her in the face nonstop. Poor Shin Cho Young tried to block the attacks, but she could not resist it because the escape route was cut off for her. Soon Jin Chul took her by the hair and lifted her up. He was going to kill this goat in the most painful way. Having imbued his fist with aura, he hit her on the stomach, causing Shin Choi Yun to start coughing up blood. The blonde guy gloatingly ordered the victim to call for help. Suddenly someone would hear her grunting and come to help, 
although the guy remembered that he had destroyed all the video equipment, so the girl had no chance. At that moment, a pair of fingers flew into the guy's smug face, which deprived him of his sight. After that the guy fell screaming to the ground, and Shinchon tried to move away from her injuries. Soon Zhang Jinchul got up, and the heiress of the Soul Clan could not do anything. In tears she realized that she should leave as soon as possible because the guy would recover quickly. At this moment, the mutant's eyes gradually regenerated. The black-haired woman was trying to make her body move when suddenly she heard an enraged Kainal calling her name. The guy restored his eyesight and picked up the girl again. Because of her, the number of monster lives was halved and he is not able to forgive this. So it's time to kill. Suddenly, someone called the mutant from the side, Han Dae Song, who was wandering around, came across a strange couple and decided to ask what they were doing.